Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, this is part two of the part image uh, video concerning the image creation and restoring. Part one, I gave you some of the commands uh, that you need to uh, know and understand in order to run part image. Uh, in part two here, we're going to go ahead and run the program. So let's get started. On the desktop, and I'm going to start a terminal session. And I'm going to go ahead, I've got choices here, I'm going to go ahead and, and select the uh, super user. Now the first command I need to type in is make directory. So mkdir space uh, forward slash backup. Go ahead and press enter. Now I've just created the backup directory. And I need that because I'm going to use that to replace uh, HDA6. Now I'm going to open up a second terminal session. And in my second terminal session, I'm going to go ahead and use S. And go ahead and type in S U D O and P A R T I M A G to start part image. Now, part image uh, starts up and interrogates the drive. It finds that I have a hard drive. I've got two partitions and two logical drives. Uh, the first partition, HDA1, is an NTFS primary partition. This is where Windows resides. I have an extended partition, HDA2, and inside that extended I have two logical drives, uh, 5 and 6. The reason we don't see 3 and 4 listed up here is because uh, you have the opportunity to create four uh, partitions. They can be primary partitions, or you can have three primary partitions and one uh, extended. Since we haven't used 3 and 4, three and four have been omitted and you could uh, could use those later uh, keeping keeping on here uh, the next I'm gonna go ahead and select HDA1 and I'm gonna tab down you, can, you know so I can move my selection but HDA1 is where I'm going to create my image so I'm gonna tab down to image file to create or use here we're gonna use backs or forward slash backup that's my directory and I'm going to put a name of the file that I want to uh, create, WinXP. So my image is going to be called WinXP, and it's going to be stored in the backup uh, directory, which is going to become HDA6, because HDA6 is where I want to store my image. That's my backup partition. Actions down here, uh, save partition. Uh, before I continue on, I need to go ahead and make sure I got HDA6 mounted. So let's go back to my second or my first uh, session here and type in that command. Mount space dash T. My file system is VFAD. It might be NTFS for you and most likely is, but I, I'm using uh, VFAT, which is a FAT32 file system uh, for my backup partition. I use uh, VFAT quite often uh, because I do a lot of DOS uh, DOS work, running a lot of DOS utilities, so I, I like the, the VFAT because it is compatible with DOS. Anyway, this is the command we need. Go ahead and press enter. and This is going to redirect uh, from backup my images to the device uh, HDA6. So this is mounting HDA6 as a VFAT file system. Okay, back to my first or my second partition or my second terminal session. Okay, I've got this all set now. I can just hit F5 right here to get to the next screen. Now the next screen shows compression levels. We have some choices. I'm going to go ahead and select this first one by using the space bar. That will put my asterisk there and select it. It's faster, but there's no compression. I'm going to use the faster just because this is a demo and I'd like it to to go a little quicker. Otherwise, I'd probably use uh, probably a medium uh, medium compression. Uh, rest of this looks okay, so we'll let that go, and we'll hit F5 to continue. Now it's going to ask me for a description. I could put any description in here that I'd like to maybe explaining this as an image. I'm going to go ahead and press OK, uh, using my Tab key to get that to highlight, and pressing Enter. Uh, it says the current NTFS support is experimental. It is experimental but it does work. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Uh, giving me some NTFS information here uh, concerning block size and so forth. Go ahead and press OK again. 
using my tab key again to highlight that and pressing enter. And it starts. Uh, estimated remaining time is only about two minutes. Uh, I have a pretty good speed here, about 600 megabytes per minute. This is a fairly uh, small installation of Windows XP. So for this demo, it's not going to take very long. Your uh, installation might be considerably bigger. We'll probably go ahead and pause uh, right now so we don't have to waste the time and we'll come back. Now yeah, we're almost done. Got five, four, three, two, one seconds. Looks like we're complete. Uh, we should get some information here as to what time it took. It elapsed time was 2 minutes, 53 seconds. Speed was about 526 megabytes per minute. And we only copied uh, 1.48 gigabytes. So it's a fairly small Windows X uh, installation, but it was successful. Now let's go ahead and see if we can restore this and get this back. Uh, if you notice, part image stops, so we need to... We need to uh, get this started again so we'll use the same command part image starts back up uh, again we're going to uh, use the HDA1 that's our primary partition this is going to be where we're going to restore the image to so we're going to tab down again this time we'll type in again back up win XP but this time we're going to type in some zeros uh, the reason we have to type the zeros in is part image uh, uses dot zero 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 as an extension. Uh, if you are to continue to make backups, it will increment. The first one being zero zero zero, the second one being zero zero one, uh, two, and so forth. So it does that increment incrementing uh, automatically for you, so that you don't end up overwriting your files. Good feature. Uh, tab one more time down here. This time I'm going to arrow down to the restore, press my space bar to set that asterisk. Now I'm set up on this first page to restore this image, Windows XP, to my first partition. So I'll press F5 to continue. Uh, not going to make this a simulation. There's nothing really on here that I need to uh, worry about. So I'll press F5 one more time says again there's a warning current NTFS support is experimental but we don't really have to worry about that we know it works well press enter a little more information again about your block press tab to highlight that okay press enter one more time do you really it's one last warning do you really want to restore and we're taking our device HDA1 which is our primary partition and we're going to restore that using this image Windows XP.000 yes we do press enter and we're off. Uh, looks like it's going to take a little bit longer this time. We're estimating about six, five, six minutes. Speed is a little bit slower on the uh, on the restore. So we'll go ahead and pause this, and we'll return. Okay, we're finished. Operation successful. Only took 2 minutes and 17 seconds. Uh, speed wasn't bad. It was 665.